Florida welcomes you, welcomes me back home. Hooray, I'm so excited. We both have agreed also, this is easily the best welcome sign we've seen so far. And if you're familiar with the channel, if you're familiar with both of our channels, we've seen quite a few welcome we've seen signs. Quite a few, yep. Well folks, this adorable red train can only mean one thing. We are in St. Augustine, folks. St. Augustine, Florida. It's definitely not the end of the trail for us, oh no. It is just the beginning. Hello everyone, welcome. Howdy. And welcome back. We are on day three, the last day of our road trip back down to Florida and uh, as I just mentioned we're here in St. Augustine yay yeah I know now you Welcome home I know and it really does truly feel real. like home because I have a lot of history here in St. Augustine my family and I have visited here I countless 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 amounts of times we have done all of the trolley tours we've done all of the museums and all of the different things that you can do here walking down the the main uh, street down there and St. Um, John's I believe yeah I've had lots of field trips here lots of band trips here and um, also was very very close to attending Flagler College, which ties me into you and your story with St. Augustine. My brother and my sister-in-law mm -hmm. both graduated at Flagler, so I spent a lot of time here uh, with my family. We'd come visit uh, my brother on the weekends, so I have a lot of memories here as well. Yes, so we both a lot of good ones. We love St. Augustine, and we were so, so, so very excited to finally be here together, together yeah. and to put it on the channel on both yeah. of our channels i so. uh i knew when i came here i wanted to spend you know a few days yes. we're obviously just passing through but yes, yeah there are. are plans to come back and spend a few days here in st augustine yep. there's so much cool stuff to definitely see. and i and i'm glad yeah. that you brought that up because i'm going to talk about that a little bit more once i show you specifically where we are in just a second but yeah just setting all of that up here for you how much we love st augustine and the fact that Hey, I'm back in Florida We're again. We're together and we love each other and, and welcome stay. home. Congratulations, yeah. I'm saying it again. Thank you. She moved, she moving to Florida. I'm moving to Florida. You moved to Florida. It's You're inside the state line. Yep, exactly. So we, <laughs> awesome. we more or less officially did it. So okay, yep. without further ado, let's uh, walk away from this uh, statue of David here, which is, oh my God. as uh, as Jay Where was saying, is uh, anatomically correct. So we're just gonna look at his. Uh, <laughs> Uh, leg <laughs> down here in his foot and not go much, much I think further. I it okay, idea. okay, okay, per perfect, <laughs> perfect. Here goes another trolley. Speaking of the trolleys, there's a red one and then there's this green and orange one. And if I'm not mistaken, my mom can correct me here, but I believe we have done both of them. And at least back in the day, they were both excellent and a lot of fun. So, can't recommend these enough. It's a great way to to check out the town and be charted around by the trolley. And there goes the red one, the red trolley. They're both good, folks. They're both really good. We are at Ripley's Believe It or Not. Believe it or not. Listen, there is a <laughs> lot of stuff to do in St. Augustine. As uh, we were saying earlier, we will definitely be back. We will spend a lot of time here. We will do all the things. But since we are passing through, we decided let's do one thing and why not make it something weird. We're gonna do Ripley's Believe It That's or good. Not. Gotta set this up, gotta set this up. This is a big, 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 big deal, folks. This is the very first Ripley's Believe It or Not that I have ever been to, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, maybe in Canada, now that I'm thinking about it. My mom can correct me there. But anyway, this is the first one that I remember, is this one right here in St. Augustine. We went here quite a lot when I was a kid. And um, the reason that this is a big deal is because I fully attribute this Ripley's Believe It or Not with my phobia of many things, of animatronics, of uh, wax figures, of just weird things like that. It definitely, this place freaked me the heck out 
as a child. And I'm really hoping to feel those same vibes again today. I, I attribute so much of my phobia, different phobias, to this building right here. So this is a very monumentous occasion for me. I've been dying to get back to this specific Ripley's, believe it or not. And I can't wait to take you all along with me, as, long, as well as Tampa J back here. He's coming along too. Excuse me, sir, can you tell us how to get inside of Ripley's, believe it or not? Oh, you say it's... It's right there. Through here? Okay, perfect. And all of a sudden, it just got really, really busy in here and very loud, but I just wanted to point out lots of different things right here in the lobby already to look at. We're not even officially inside. You gotta go up the stairs there, but yeah, lots of stuff going on in here, like this little taxidermy lamb here. He's very silent. Yeah, he is. Here's the man himself. This is Robert L. Ripley, I guess. He was a movie star, a radio and TV personality, collector, explorer, and cartoon extraordinaire. Alrighty, up the steps we go. This is cool. A John Lennon Imagine uh, piece of art here. One of the most unusual paintings in the entire Ripley collection. It has no paint or charcoal or ink or pencil. It is drawn entirely from smoke. That's cool. What is this? I don't know. It's some kind of optical illusion, I guess. Optical illusion? It looks yeah. like it's going down. Yeah, it does. Oh, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Into a little there we door. go. It's a tiny door. It's, it's, it's small. Chocolate room. Just inside of this uh, first opening room here, they got some funhouse mirrors, a bunch of other stuff in here as well. Apparently these art pieces here from The Walking Dead are made with a barbecue uh, sauce. Barbecue sauce right here from Florida. Over here by the restrooms, slightly less people. They got a bunch of neat machines in here. Ripley's Believe It or Not pinball machine. Uh, ooh, a little wizard in a thing. <gasps> That's legit. Also, Robert Ripley himself is here to give you a give you a little fortune. That is awesome. Here we go. I just squeeze it. Yeah. Okay, it's going. It's thinking it's going, about it's it. Going. What's it gonna be? Man, it takes What's forever. it gonna be? Well, it's gotta think about it. Ooh. That's not bad. La cucaracha. Um, these are apparently real cockroaches that are painted like like rock stars. Oh, they're they're kind of cute for cockroaches. Folks, here's a prime example of why this place really freaked me out as a kid. Going into a dark hallway and greeted with uh, these uh, this scary display here. Looks like a shrunken shrunken heads. Also a dungeon. Whoa. Back in here, oh my gosh, yeah, this is this is horrifying. The hideous Iron Maiden, ooh, of Nuremberg. You gotta go. Oh wow, there's like a illusion back in there. That's scary. Got some tools of torture over here. This is pretty neat. Been standing here for a second, just kind of reading all of the little signs here. I wanted to point this one out. It's a gold's bridle. Oh they were used against European women from the 16th century to the 19th century to punish gossiping or other verbal transgressions. And I just wanted to point out, apparently it was just used on women. That's what the sign said. Huh. Go figure. Okay, this is pretty horrifying. Ripley's eat it or not. And uh, they're talking about quite a lot of disgusting things here that I'm not gonna quite go into yet. But I did want to point out this disgusting thing. A cannibal fork. Ew. Okay, here looks like this gentleman is uh, selling his wares here. He's selling this adorable little spider. Something tells me though it's a uh, it's not for a pet. I think it's I think it's for eating. Looks like it's a spider taco he's got there. Opens up quite a lot. Now in this room over in kind of in the center. You can see this place is uh, multiple stories tall. I want to hear some planet sounds. Let's see. How about Saturn radio emissions? Ooh. Oh, 
Okay. But I think it's done. Oh, nope, it's not. Oh. Okay, now it's done. What happens to your body when you get to space? You could get dizzy and vomit. You, uh, let's see, your face will swell. There's no smells in space. Skin on your feet peels off. I don't know, it kind of sounds like what happens to me on Earth. It's pretty neat. This entire space station here is made out of matchsticks. Something tells me it took a very, very long time to make. That's no space station. That's no moon. That's a space station. Almost got it mixed up. Getting into more disgusting things here. <laughs> this uh, cow here was born with six legs. That's not a tail there. That's, that's supposed to be its leg. Also, oh, legs. lots of uh, two-headed and headless even animals down in here. Wow. Oh, bunny rabbits too. That is two horr heads. horrifying and and disgusting. I do like this crow though, a junkyard crow. That's pretty cute. Over here is a Pennsylvania Dutch hex symbol. I've actually seen a lot of these while when I lived in Pennsylvania in different areas where you can you can buy them, but I guess they put them on the sides of farms in order to ward off evil spirits, fire, lightning, and sickness. So you realize that was a thing. That's that pretty cool. Costume. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's really cool to see one in person. Hey, okay. getting into more weird stuff. Here's the world's tallest man here. Apparently, it was like nine feet tall. Over here. Yeah, you gotta stand on the feet prints. I look a little different. I look a little funny. There's, there's someone behind. Over here on the left, the skeleton dude. Ooh, he is creepy. Got quite a few things going on in this this room here. Looks like we got the lizard man. Over here, we actually have a really cool Zoltar machine. That's awesome. Unfortunately, I only brought a dollar, so we won't be able to do that. This uh, snake eater here, that's horrifying. This uh, very scary guy here. Of course, your classic photo op here that they have at a lot of the Ripley's, believe it or not. And uh, all of these uh, folks here who are definitely uh, staring into my soul right now. Yeah, that's really... Oh god, that's so scary. This is, yeah. This is, uh, attributing this again to my fear of wax figures, of animatronics, all of, all of that stuff. Definitely getting creeped out now. Okay, I'm very scared to do this. <laughs> if he moves, I'm gonna cry. Uh, okay. Alright, we're good. It's fine. It's fine. You got some teeth there, buddy. You got some teeth there. I like them. Oh, I see how it is. Oh, what happened? Touched it. Oh, is it creepy? Who is that guy? This is the crocodile man. Yeah. Cracky. Okay, coming on over. Is it? Is there enough room for me? <laughs> the crocodile man. Oh, look at the teeth he has. Yeah. Oh, hi. Alright, that's enough of that. Jay did the uh, love tester. I'm gonna shake with Merlin because I have You're shake with a Merlin. quarter. Yes, I am. Okay. Yep. Okay. So let's do this. All right. Let's see what happens. Put that shake. in there. Twenty-five cents. In you, you know, go. I think I've done this before. Give him okay, got my it. right hand here. He's gonna tell me my personality. It says. It's thinking about it. Oh, okay. Now it's going. Or is it? Or is it on royal? I think it's on. I think you're royalty. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go with that. Yeah. yeah. Royalty. Hey, Merlin says it. Yeah, it's, it's got to be true. Basically a maze. You're just walking through a maze and they guide you where you're supposed to go. So we just came out of that room here. Now we're going to continue on. Looks like we're going up another flight of steps here.
They're, uh, they're vending machines. I don't know what I was expecting. Something spooky, I guess. Spookier than this. Oh yeah. So I wanted to point out this painting here. Apparently is made out of postage stamps. That's really, it's really pretty. This room here though, not such, uh, not very pretty things necessarily. Lots of, looks like very creepy and disturbing things, but it is Ripley's Believe It or Not after all. This though, this little fanciful squirrel that's uh, fishing is adorable. Look at his little moccasins and his little vest. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. This uh, thing here, which looks like a uh, knitted sweater, is called an asthmat spirit mask. And for the asthmat people, life and death are interwoven, apparently. This costume is worn by performers to represent a spirit in a ceremony called by Poco, Pokemon. There you go, it says it right there. Wow. Each person who wears one of these masks represents an asthmat person who has died but whose spirit is not at rest. By the end of the ceremony, the spirit can pass into the afterlife. That's pretty neat. Hmm, let's see. Partial the cats. Um, extra body part. Uh, how about two tails? Pattern. Let's go with polka dots. And a color, a green. Ooh. And a collar. We'll go with the spiky collar and the background. Nice little forest there. There we go. Oh, they're shipping them off. Success. Success. That is a that is one weird pet. To say I enjoy this one, this whole piece of art here that is a lion made completely out of upcycled uh, plastic toys. That's neat. Got some dinosaurs and goats and a SpongeBob in there, and wow, buttons, all kinds of stuff. Heading into the next room now. Oh, these folks are uh, taking a photo, it looks like. Oh, wait, that's fine. Oh, wait, oh, there he goes. Take one of both Chris, of us, I though. Take a take, of you there. What? We're taking a you picture together. We're taking a picture together. It's gonna go. It's gonna hey, go. What are you doing? Give it a sec. Bro. It's gonna flash. Anytime now, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Give me that. There it goes. Oh, I, I ruined it. There it goes. <laughs> Again, we are on the third floor now of the museum, so we get a bird's eye view of the space stuff that we saw earlier. This is neat. Another really cool painting here. This spaceship is made entirely out of uh, keyboard keys. Look at that. That's a lot of keyboard keys. This one's really neat. It's a AT-80. -AT. That's made out of, uh, looks like computer parts here as well. Yeah, that's really cool. Look at these Star Wars characters that are carved out of, out of crayons. Oh man, that's adorable. One hungry moose. Apparently, uh, at some point a moose crashed through a window in Alaska. That, uh, that makes sense to me. It is Alaska after all. The moose is not on the loose? That's what he said! What's going on here? Hey, can you give me a hand here? Open, you gotta open up the chest here. Open if you dare. You dare. Do it. You got it. Ah! Lady! Pipe it down in there. I actually have a real life animal in here. It's a tarantula. Apparently it is a bird-eating tarantula. If you can believe that, and, well, Ripley's believe it that or not. But uh, anyway, this is his little, uh, or her little uh, cage here. Wow. She is humongous. Also, it looks like there's some Venus flytraps in her cage too. 
we go. You can do it. Oh my gosh. I think she's going to do it. I mean, you're, you're if pretty you, close. If you behead me, then I think. As far as you can go. The torch at your own wrist. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that's creeping me out. Can you help? You fit inside of that clown car. I did fit inside the clown car. So you should be able to do this. Oh my gosh. There you go. Yeah, there you go. You got it. All right, folks. This is the hugest contribution to my phobias right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that was terrifying. I knew that was gonna happen. I remember this. Trust me. I remember this. Oh, this is neat. It's a matchstick violin. A violin made entirely out of matchsticks. That's really neat. Wow. It just looks like a yeah, real violin. It really does. It legitimately does. Matchsticks. You can kind of see it in there in the green. Alright, what's uh, what horrifying things are in here? Castle, April 1944, a fire swept through the third and fourth floors of this building. Damage was extensive and two women died. Oh. Neither of the women were burned, but both died of suffocation from the smoke. That's creepy. It looks like they have a uh, huh. recreation of it. Uh, yeah. Beppy Wrightson and Mrs. Bruce Pickering were the ones that died. It looks like that's it right there. So let's check out the other side and... Oh. Oh, in there. there's nothing there. There's They're nothing not there. here anymore. Yeah, we're still uh, still seeing some creepy things in here. That's that's for sure. It's not it's not over wow. with uh, yet. Looks like there's some cribs in here or coffins. Maybe they're coffins. Yeah. Huh. That's uh, yep. They are coffins. It's a uh, elephant one here. Huh. Again, Ripley's big uh, reason as to wow. why I get a little frightened when I'm walking also, through museums here. and so uh, you know with with wax figures and animatronics and all of that stuff because you never know when you turn the corner what's gonna pop out at you if you're gonna yeah. stand on a boardwalk and then suddenly fall into a pit ah! of alligators <laughs> and stuff like that yeah, that was crazy that I attribute it all to this Ripley's right here so thanks Ripley's <laughs> thanks this is a bunch of oh they're like wax faces of actual celebrities there's Clark Gable there's Eddie Davis Bob Hope Jack Nicholson oh wow that's really cool Arnold Schwarzenegger get to the chopper Elizabeth Taylor Dustin Hoffman Eddie Murphy that's awesome just walked down this random hallway over here because I didn't notice it when I was walking through before it's clearly an employees only spot but uh was greeted with this a wax voodoo doll and um, this will definitely be haunting my dreams for quite a while. So, what a what a happy accident this was. Interactive Elizabeth pirate Taylor. shooting gallery. This is cool. Your covers on me, your fate. I do not get your little livers. Pause on me, treasure this day, Swami. We trust the crew will teach you a thing or two. Demonstrate for us. You got it. Okay, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. Hit the target. Ooh, good job. Oh, yeah. get the rat. I got the rat. Got the chalice. <laughs> Wow, you're really good. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Oh, it's telling me to. Yeah, well, you just try different things. Yeah. Uh huh. Stretch your skin. Ow. 
Ah. Not as easy for you to do. That hurt. Is it good to try? Nope. It's not. It's a challenge. It is a challenge. Uh huh. Huh. It's like a puzzle. This gate does open. What's the trick? Ah, there we go. Oh. Ha Got ha. It. It's over there. <laughs> I did it. Stand against the opposite wall and strike a pose. Don't look into the flat. Got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey. Take the shadow on the wall. There it is. That's me. Wait, beer. Yep. We were giving people a show over here. You were giving people a show over here, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. You knew that. I didn't know. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> okay. I think now with this, we are officially done. That was a lot of fun. Like any good tourist attraction, it ends with a gift shop. These are odd animal plushes <gasps> odd animal plushes so they all have weird appendages that is awesome that's adorable <laughs> except for the frog that's so cute <laughs> what is this what's wrong a oh it's a two-headed two turtle. turtle oh am i not two-headed enough for the turtle club? that's so cute what's wrong with the avocado i don't know looks fine to he me he has a face he's, that's, that's he's it. happy i don't think he's supposed to be here a two-headed cat might be my favorite. This reminds me that um, I really want to get a pet cat sometime soon. The answer is yes. I would love yeah. to have a pet cat too. Yeah, well, I, look at I that. really have been jonesing for a for a, for a kitty of my own. Okay, this is uh, probably the coolest t-shirt that I've like ever seen. Look how legit. Oh man, that what? is. It oh. just says Saint Augustine, Florida. Which and it has a shark on it that's so 90s. <laughs> so is this, that's Jurassic awesome. Shark. That's awesome. Oh yeah, Jurassic, Jurassic Shark here. Jurassic Shark. Shark side of the moon. Oh, that's hilarious. And uh, the, the Shark Knight up there. Oh yeah, Captain, Captain Amerishark. Amerishark, very nice. <laughs> Back outside and oh, to the heat, yeah. It's nice and air conditioned in there, which was a very <laughs> pleasant uh, experience. Real please believe it or not. That was so awesome. It was really cool reliving some memories in there. Some things definitely haven't changed. Some things clearly quite new. It was just a lot of fun. I'm so happy I was finally able to do this. This happy little tree guy here is uh, beckoning us inside to see this four room house that was carved from a redwood log, a real log house. We're gonna go inside and check it out. This is cute. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I was not expecting seating in here. It's like a little RV. This is really cool. Got a little fireplace in here. That's kind of dangerous. Sofa. That's okay. Just need yeah. some Wi-Fi and some AC. Nice We're sofa. Going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would absolutely live here. Well, again, that was a lot of fun. Really glad we got to stop here. As I've said before, there's so many things that we both want to do here in St. Augustine and put on the vlog. And we definitely will at some point. But so we figured since we were just driving through, making a quick stop, we might as well make it a one-stop shop sort of thing. So we figured Ripley's Believe it or Not, if we wanted to do it anyway, we might as well make this the video, the vlog. So the next time we come here, we don't have to, we don't necessarily have to do it. But uh, with that, we're going to hop back into my car and uh, move on. Got the trolley going through the alleyway as we are looking out on Flagler College. Love, love, love this building, love this college. Here is the Lewis Auditorium here. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I almost went here. I almost went to Flagler College. It was between Flagler and Rollins. 
and uh, decided to go with Rollins. They had a better music program, a percussion music program, which was specifically what I was interested in. So that's why, that's why I went with it. But that didn't stop me from uh, coming here with my mom uh, when I was checking out colleges. And we did a tour of Flagler College and just kind of hung out so I could get a feel for the area and just kind of decide if this was the right vibe for me. And I still felt that way. I still feel this way. Sometimes <laughs> I think like that was like my life forking into two different directions. One direction, Rollins College. The other direction, Flagler. And sometimes I wonder what my life would have been like if I had went to Flagler. By the way, it is Memorial Day, folks. It's Memorial Day today, so it looks like they have a bunch of flags out here to commemorate that. We both knew that this would be very, very difficult because there are so many things that we both want to capture today and capture in general here at St. Augustine. And it is very difficult for both of us to uh, not just keep going and make like a whole nother like series of videos just on St. Augustine. So we're gonna try not to do that. But there were a couple things that we just wanted to check out regardless while we were here because uh, it's just so cool. And again, this place holds like a lot of memories for uh, for both of us, myself and Tampa Che, as he was saying earlier. His brother and sister-in-law used to used to go here, used to go here to Flagler. So it's really cool that we both have like such such strong ties to uh, to the same place. Look how awesome this looks. It's like a castle. And that's one of the big big reasons why I wanted to stay here is because it just looks so amazing. Looks like Hogwarts in there. I know, that's yeah. Cool. It looks so that's cool, cool. and like you would actually be living and studying inside of like this really cool Rollins building. Cool. I mean it was just uh really, really wanted to go here, but that's okay. It's all right. Okay, that's it. I'm done, I swear. I'm done. No more of this. One day I'm gonna do like a whole video probably just on Flagler College, so no more, no more, no more video. That's it, we're done. Heading down St. George Street now. Lots of really cute historic streets that you can walk down here. Hey birds, can you tell me where I can get some coffee? We really, really need some coffee. Right behind me? Got it. And we stopped here at Say cheese, say cheese, to uh, actually get some coffee and a little bit of food. And um, this video's coffee is sponsored by Judy. Thank you so much, Judy, for, for buying me a coffee and for being such an awesome supporter of the channel as well. I always look forward to reading your comments and um, I really, really appreciate your support. So thank you, Judy. Cheers. Here it is, I got a grilled cheese sandwich and it looks delicious and I gave the pickle to Jay, he got a... New York a, dog is yeah, kind of New a York Chicago dog. dog now. Uh-huh, yeah, it's got some sauerkraut on there too, which <laughs> is really good. I love sauerkraut on hot dogs. Here, have one. Well, I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> what a day, what a day. <laughs> what a day! It was a great day. It was an awesome day, I had the best time. And not just because we weren't on a boat, but because we were here <laughs> in St. Augustine, which is one of Seriously, one of my most favorite places on the face of the earth. And I know that you you feel the same way for a lot of the same reasons. Yep. The history, but most importantly, my family. the memories. Yep. Yeah, the memories that we both have with our families that are um, really, really, really important to us. So it's, it's really cool to be able to be here together and it's your you know your first day as a floridian back in florida yes, yep. and you spend it one this of your is the perfect day the perfect perfect, perfect place to spend the first day officially back in florida and to be here for the foreseeable future, future. yep so um thank you time. thank you all you so did. so so much for watching <laughs> i really 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 appreciate it this one meant a lot to me um, and I know that it meant a lot to you as well for, again, like just a multitude of reasons. Um, it was make, the perfect place to come today. It, it really we was. Going right, right through here. 
we mm -hmm. if we didn't stop we would have regretted it truly. Like, why didn't we stop there yeah you know? truly and um, as I've said before and I know as Jay has said before many times in his video too we will be back we we've kept saying this entire time like we could both literally make like a series of videos you each. could you could make a, a lengthy YouTube channel Easy. of the content here at St. Augustine Easy. if you live here you could so that's uh, a you know someday day. we will definitely be back we'll be back for a couple of days and I'm gonna do a lot more a lot more stuff here and I'm pumped about that maybe we'll do like a bed and breakfast one day that'd be cool yeah, yeah it would be There's it would be a dream here, like yeah years old. to be able to stay in the city and to do something like that it would just be a dream I, yeah. I, I would love to do that I would love so. to do that with you yeah me too so uh, make sure you check out Tampa Jay's video as Thank you. well. He did have his camera here somewhere. It's, it's right, right there. there. Da -da 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 -da. See? How about that? He had his <laughs> camera here. That's so crazy. So make sure you check out his <laughs> video you. too. We both had a great time at Ripley's Believe It or Not. And believe then, it. Believe it or not. Or not. Yep, we had a great time. So thank you all again so much for watching. So much uh, big plans for the future. There's yeah, always we got something some stuff in the future. Up. Always much uh, yeah. in, in the uh, in the uh, in the ahead time, yeah. This much ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all again for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm in Florida. She's in Florida. I love I'm you. In Florida. I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida with this guy. It's a dream come true. I'm so lucky. Uh, okay. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned. Lots of really cool stuff going on, and I really appreciate everybody's support i really really do so thank you thank you thank you all Bye again guys. from the bottom of my heart subscribe below thank you give it a thumbs up subscribe to this guy too thank you why not okay bye bye everybody bye bye Okay, I have to share this because this is really crazy. This is blowing my mind. I literally was just talking all of this out just now with Jay. But I'm dead serious when I say my life could have gone two ways. I've, I either was going to Rollins or I was going to Flagler and I'm highly certain my life would have been vastly different if I went to Flagler. I know that if I went here, I wouldn't have been in that band scene that uh, Christian ska band scene that uh, I've talked about, a, I think a couple times on the channel, and we both have. I was in the same scene. And he was in the same Hard, scene. Christian um, hardcore band. Yeah. So we have that history together. And that's something that we bonded over. It was something over. that caught my eye. I was like, oh, yeah. really, you know? You know? Yep, um, yep, same here. We know the same things. Yep, exactly. It's we like, were wow. in the exact same scene. a very scene. tight, uh, very little community. Yeah. You know. But uh, if I went here to Flagler, that probably wouldn't have happened. But his brother went to Flagler. At the same time at you the went to Rollins. He would have been exactly the same time that I was in college. So we would have been going to college at the same time, which means he would have been around Flagler yeah, nonetheless at here. the same time. Or so either way, we, we would have we had a connection. We would have had a connection. The universe. Bananas. Loves us. Bananas. It's meant to be. I love it. It's meant to be. <laughs>